President of Marketing at Patientism, and I'm delighted to welcome Christine Tax into our Thank studio today. Thank you so much. So Christine and I have known each other now for more than a year and a half already, mm -hmm. and she has taught me so much about medical dental cross-code billing. And honestly, I had never given that much thought about it, but of course patients want to be able to use all of the benefits that they have available to them to help pay for the coverage that they need at the dental practice. Right. So one of the things that we were talking about is that you know, it can be an impediment for the dental practice to kind of get started. And they can have a lot of questions about what's needed. And one of the questions that comes up is this idea about having to write a letter of medical necessity. So I was hoping you could kind of take away some of the mystery around that and tell people exactly what that means. Right. Well, you know, dentistry has been taught in mm -hmm. school how to write what we call a SOAP note, S-O-A-P. Mm -hmm. That's how the medical world is supposed to write their notes. But instead of writing the, the SOAP notes once they get into their own offices or working for someone, they kind of went to text messaging. That's okay. what I tell them. And we have to get away from that. So it is a lot for a doctor to write, all of it. So what I've done is I've, I've kind of made a a little plan like a template okay. and take away the mystery of writing a soap note. So what, each, what does soap stand for? Soap stands for subjective, mm -hmm. what the patient tells you. Okay. Objective, what do you see mm -hmm. clinically? Assessment, what are tools are you using to assess this patient's health mm -hmm. and what's the outcome of the assessment mm -hmm. and then the plan. Okay. So it's really very simple. So we've devised a template, not because you could use templates. So people think, well, I could write their templates for implants and they could just use the same one. You no. can't. Okay. But we have a template where whoever is making the appointment can add in three things the patient said. Okay, such so, as? Such as, we, we have questions, so do you take medication? Patients said they take medication. Okay. We told them to bring a list of the medication. She's being treated by this doctor. This doctor. And that way we have a referral source mm -hmm. and um, it gives us information uh, that's pertinent to the patient's overall health and well being. Is there like a length that the medical necessity letter needs to be, or well, is it just a matter of it what point to It could be very to short. I mean, the first letter. So subjective is really what the patient tells you. Okay. And technically, by law, we're supposed to be documenting in parentheses what the patient says they want to come in for. Right. So is it pain? Is it a checkup? Right. Were they being referred? Right. So we have to know these things, and we're not documenting it right now. So we put these questions into the clinical notes, so the minute she asked those questions, she could be putting it in. Then the assistant brings the patient in, mm -hmm. and the objective is the blood pressure, right. maybe taking pictures according to the office and the state rules of what they can do, right. but they can do a lot, and they're documenting that what the blood pressure was, they did intraoral pitches, right. whatever they did. The hygienist, the same thing. They're doing probing. Right. Has to be documented. Mm -hmm. And why is there oral bleeding? Right. Because bleeding is not normal. Right. And patients still to this day will say, oh, I've been bleeding forever when I Yeah, brought. pink in the sink, right? Yeah, and that is, we need to start letting them know that is not normal. Right, no, that's a symptom of something happening. It's not normal. Right, sign of infection. Yeah, so that those things are documented. Then the plan, so now the doctor really only has one part of the letter of medical necessity. Mm -hmm. What was the outcome of your x-rays? Why did you order the x-rays? Right. I ordered the x-rays for the bone. Right. atrophy. You have to document it. And then you have a narrative, perfect. So it's short and sweet and everybody in the office is part of it. So Christine, tell people how they can reach you for more information. Sure, I would love that. It's www.dentalmedicalbilling.com is my website. And you, they could also email me if they'd like, which is c-t-a-x-i-n at links to the number two, success.biz, B-I-Z. Thanks so much for coming in today, You're I appreciate welcome. it. Thank you.